Dear students, in this module, we are going to discuss one of the very important aspects of socialization, particularly in the theoretical context, that is the functionalist approach, that how structure and functionalist view the socialization process. Socialization is considered necessary for the maintenance of social order and stability. As you know that functionalists are always viewing the society as a perpetual system that is leading towards the consensus and social order. So this, they do consider that socialization is the function that helps this process uh, moving towards the consensus. So it teaches the individuals the values, norms, and roles necessary for the society to function. Socialization process ke saath jab hum functionalist perspective ki baat karte hain to it's, it is considered a very basic or very foundational aspect of society or individuals ko jo values hain, norms hain unke hawale se ye guide karta hai according to them ye itna hi fundamental process hai jitna ke insaan ke liye muashire ke andar exist karna. So in Pakistan, functionalist might point to the role of family, education, religion in teaching the children, the cultural practices and traditions which are central to the Pakistani society. So they are of the view that every individual must be embedded within the society through the process of socialization. So it also ensures that the individuals are equipped to perform the roles necessary for the functioning of society. So they, they, they are of the view that whatever exists in the society exists because of its functional nature since socialization is very important and very fundamental function uh, for the individual. So that is why the socialization exists in the society. In this approach, socialization is viewed as the positive force that contributes to the well-being of both individual and society. So they do consider that without socialization, society cannot be formed and without society, an individual cannot be socialized. So they, they, they both are substituting to each other. If we talk about its limitations, one of the limitations is that it emphasizes on the consensus and it downplays the conflict. It doesn't mean that individuals are always having relationships based on consensus. They are always in a cooperation. However, they are in the situations where conflict also becomes part of the normality. So it downplays that conflict part of our socialization process and may overlook the ways in which socialization can be used to maintain these power differences because while having the, the while adopting this process of socialization we do have our differences which creates potential inequalities in the society our functionalists generally ignore these aspects while talking about the socialization process